Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can access the orders and how you can also make modification. Um, kindly disregard all of this section for now because I'm using administrator version. That's why there's a lot of options in here. But if you're using a shop manager um, login, which is the department that, that I'm going to create for you guys, you should be only you should only access the WooCommerce and the product section because I don't want you to to get overwhelmed with all of these sections in here so there's only two um blocks that you can access the woocommerce and the products and on this area as well on the sub lease and in this area as well i'm going to restrict some of the sections like settings status and extension like again i don't want you to get overwhelmed with the products um i can allow you to see all of the products that we have but for now i'll just rather to keep this stuff in here restricted if you want to add a products or if you have modification with the products just let me know email me and i'll i'll update it for you so to access the the orders go into the woocommerce and go to the order section so i made a two test in here and this is like the default that you will see every time there is a new order. On top of that, there is an email that will be sent to the partnership at hollywoodbranded.com. But the easiest way for you to access the orders is by going to the order section. So by default, it is so-called processing. And if we click this one in here, okay, and um, you should able to see the order details when the order is created, the billing and the shipping and stuff. And these are the like the items that they'd ordered. Now, if you want to make modification, the SARS request, what you can do is instead of switching so you need to switch the status from processing to pending payment so you can make uh changes with your orders so pending payment i'm going to update that one make sure you update it and then you should able to make this pencil in here um editable so you can edit those stuff in here once you set the status to pending payment similar with the items in here you can update the um you can I update them and yeah, like make modification with the prices and stuff. And if you want to add a fee, um, let's say 20 or something. And you want to like, if you want to recalculate the update that you have, it's also possible. If you want to add more products, then you can also use SKU if it, you're having a hard time to um i mean if you're not sure what's the it's easier to use the sku versus the name it depends on you guys so you click the add thing in there and recalculate and stuff if you're good in that already um if you can add, if you want to add a coupon code which this this numbers in here this price in here should be updated i I currently I just make all of our all of our products set to zero right now, but this should be changed afterwards. And we have the coupon code. I created a one hundred percent coupon code in here called um yeah, Hollywood. You can put that in there. And then so once you're good in that, click the update. And also in here, this is for internal um, purpose. If you want to have like maybe an actions that you already downloaded this one or you already um, email, what do you call that one? Resend invoice notification. I mean, this one is just for um, internal purpose so our team member can see what's going on in this order on top of that as well there is an options in here with regards to the order notes here you can add notes in here privately so to the team member so they can um see the status again with this invoice now um if you go back i mean that's good ready you're ready like final with this order items if you go back to the orders area you'll see that the pending payment is already i mean the status is already set to pending payment now if you want to send an email to the customer um you need to complete the order status first okay so you click that complete there 
you check that and if it's ready completed you have an option to email the customer if you want that so yeah that's how it works and if you have any question let me know again i'm gonna hide all of this one um i just want to make your life easy <laughs>